What's up? How are you guys today? Now that it's getting cooler in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm going to show you how to make the most nutritious vitamin and mineral dense beef bone broth. That is an excellent base for whatever you're cooking over the, I mean, I even have this during the summer, let alone the cooler months. But if you want to saute vegetables, make rice, make soup, this, this is what you need to add to it. It is so good for you. You will feel so much better with all the B vitamins and amino acids. The kicker is that it's not cheap. First, you're actually going to have to make a collagen bone broth, which requires like a lot of beef knuckle bones, tendons boiled for about 20 hours. We have that on frankiesearingmeat.com. So this is already very nutritious, very high in amino acids, kind of plain in flavor. But if we add more beef to it and cook it again, it's going to add so many more vitamins and minerals. And these are two separate cook types, guys. The bones and the cartilage take much longer to break down than the B vitamins and stuff in the meat. So we're doing a much shorter cook the second time around, extracting more nutrition, getting more flavor. And you can also add some high mineral water to increase the mineral content of this broth. And we originally used Mountain Valley to make this. So it's just gonna have such an excellent combination of really everything your body needs. So I'm using my Instant Pot. You could do this on the stove as well. It's just gonna take longer, maybe three, four, five hours. And the most important thing about the initial bone broth you're using is that you could see it's like jelly. That's an indicator that all of that tissue has been broken down in the bones. If it's just liquidy, you're not really getting that much nutrition from it. Even at room temperature, it should be a little gelatinous. This is cold, so it's, it's very solid. So the meat is gonna be whatever you have on hand. You don't really have to cut it that small, but you want it into maybe like medium-sized chunks just so that it all really gets kind of boiled down, cooked through, and we extract everything from it. Uh, this is, I have some ribeye trimmings, which is actually very expensive. You want to use something like chuck. I just have this because it's extra. And I have some beef tongue as well, which is maybe a bit fattier than you want to use, but you know it's still lean enough that we're going to extract a lot of nutrition and even a lot of flavor from it. And the main thing that makes this so nutritious is the amount of meat we're using you know, four, five, six pounds of beef concentrated into that amount of broth, even if we add just a bit of water, is, is gonna be extremely, extremely dense. Close this. You could add salt if you want, but it's better to be careful because when you go to do recipes later or use this, then you can just add the salt accordingly. So we're just gonna do meat, high pressure, more time, and turn off to keep warm. And this is gonna take maybe an hour and a half to two hours because it's going to heat up, cook for about 45, then release the pressure. So the total time is almost double that. So it's been a few hours. Our broth is still pretty hot, but done. So with the meat, you can chop it up, put it in a stew, maybe even have it on its own. Yeah, it's a little bit lower in B vitamins and it is pretty well cooked, but still nutritious. Maybe feed it to your uh, dog or cat if you don't like it. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. All the fat is going to settle at the top, and we're gonna scrape that off after it forms a nice gelatinous texture. So after a few hours in the fridge, the fat will rise to the top and solidify, and if you catch it before it gets completely cool, you can take most of it off pretty easily. So after a few more hours in the fridge, this should set up like jelly, nice and solid, indicating that it has a very high collagen amino acid content. And since we boiled all that meat down in it in the pressure cooker, very high in B vitamins. So whenever you guys see me use beef broth in the day of eating or recipe video, this is it. Really as high quality and nutritious as possible as you can get without being too crazy or ridiculous. Like, are you going to put more meat in this and boil it down further? You can't really concentrate the nutrition that much more with the B vitamin, the protein, and the mineral content. And those really are all of the nutrients that most people are missing in their diets, that they need to be healthy. Even if you're following keto or carnivore or already think you have a high quality diet, 
This should make you feel a whole lot better. I've been using it as like a French dip to dip my sandwiches in. Every single time I have cauliflower, vegetables, mushrooms, onions, I deglaze them with this. I've been incorporating a lot of it into bean dips. Uh, really having maybe uh, this whole pot over the course of a week and a half, two weeks. So I'm getting a lot, a lot of extra nutrition by incorporating this into my diet. So hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe. We're probably gonna do a lot of soups and stews and stuff over the next few months now that the weather's getting cooler. So be sure to try this yourself. You can go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com if you'd like to get our collagen bone broth. I don't think we're gonna do this. We can, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be willing to pay you know, 20 or uh, I don't know how much it's going to be to do this type of uh, broth, but we do have some extra meat, so we might do this in the next week or two. But as of right now, we just have that collagen broth available, so you can make this with your own meat scraps. You can also go to frank com to check out all my other businesses. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for the next video.